hi everyone and welcome back to my channel so here I have a um, empty box of cardboard it was from one delivery service so I'm using it for this uh, box this uh, briefcase or trunk whatever you call it so because this is soft piece uh, so I have to add some more thick pieces of cardboard around all the sides of this box to make it hard enough and here you can see how much thick pieces I'm using like this and then here is the lid cover which I will be making it in a different style here on the sides I will apply more pieces of cardboard to make the proper shape of uh, lid for this uh, trunk or this box So this is how we will prepare the lid for this box and all the sides should be equal so when you close it it's on the perfect place. So I'm just checking if all the sides are fine and equal and I put it on the exact position. Then I will be using some paper tape or the masking tape to close the back side of the box to stick the lid with the box while using this uh, masking tape and I will be covering all the back side with this tape you can use the fabric as well if you don't have um, this tape but for me uh, it's much easier and fast to do so here you can see I have covered it I have closed the back side and this is how it will open and now the same thing I will be doing on the inner side as well I will be applying the masking tape on the inner part as well and yeah this is how I have been doing in my other trunk videos as well this is almost the same procedure but the style is different a little bit the style the colors so this uh, was a little bit wider tape the white color so I decided to use it here on this part to close the sides more properly to secure it more properly this is how it's opening and closing perfectly now here on these rough edges as well I will be covering all these sides with the masking tape then I will be covering all the box with craft paper and white glue water mixture uh, you can cover the box with the newspaper as well but uh, the craft paper I'm using in this video to cover the box it was from the same packaging this box was from one delivery so I use this packaging this paper was inside the box so I decided to use it for this uh, box to make it cover with this one to make it hard enough and make sure that you are not using too much water glue uh, glue should be a little bit thick so if you use too much water in glue the box will lose the shape and it will not stay straight or it will lose uh, its stability and the shape it will be very soft and it will damage the box um, for sure so make sure you are using a paste type glue and I was thinking to make my homemade glue paste that one is so much better to use for this type of things when you are covering the boxes or the craft stuff with uh, newspapers so that paste is much better dry fast and it don't damage the shape for the box as well so but I was lazy and I was so busy in these days so I said whatever is available I will be using then I am using my hands as well to press down the paper properly to get as much nice smooth straight shape for the box so if there will be any rough edges after getting dry the glue I will be sand off it with the sandpaper so here I will not cover all the box but I will be covering the basic parts anyway then here is this thick piece of cardboard here it was from a kid book and it was a hard smooth 
piece so I decided to use it instead of cardboard for this these are going to be the closers for the box if you don't want to use these box these cardboard closers you can buy from the market but um, I decided to use it um, at home by making and using the cardboard so if you want to buy from market ready one closers you can buy of course but for me I couldn't get it I was in hurry so I decided to make it at home and yeah this is how I have made four pieces which I will be sticking together to make two pairs to make them hard enough and strong enough like this so now here I will measure this part the open part so I can make the second part of this closers to insert the cardboard piece in this one so this cardboard piece I will be cutting it on the exact size of the first one this is going to stick on the board on the cardboard piece and here I am sticking same shape same size of cardboard pieces together to make it hard and thick enough so here I will sand it off the rough edges to make it smooth and equal from all the sides and this is how it will go inside you can see how it it's going easily and coming out it's not loose and it's not tight it's perfect size and then I will be covering all of these pieces with the masking tape as well to make them proper shape to give them nice finishing from the sides so this is how they are finishing now they are done and then with the same sandpaper I will be doing sand off some pieces of this box to make it smooth enough to cut to remove the rough edges sharp edges of the glue or the paper now here are these three colors I'm using acrylic paints brown light brown color pink color and the white color to get the rosy pink color actually you can use the colors of your choice obviously but uh, I love this one and here I'm going to make this color I will not apply it with brush I want to get the look of uh, velvet type fabric uh, the hard velvet type fabric actually to uh, so for this um, texture to get this look I will be using the sponge to apply the color to tap it on the box to get the look of uh, uh, fabric to get the look of um, velvet hard velvet type of fabric so I I think you can see it a little bit clearly in the camera here you can see what I mean to do actually some sandy texture on it uh, 
that's why I'm not using the brushes to apply the color that's why I'm using this sponge to get the look and in reality it was so beautiful in camera maybe you could not see it properly but in reality it was exactly looks like a fabric type I wish you can see it clearly so yeah I will be covering all this box with this uh, sponge from all outside and then this white acrylic paint I'm going to again tap on this box like this and then I will be merging it and I will be blending it completely I will not leave this hard type of white color paint on top of the pink I will merge it and I will blend it completely inside the pink color and remember the pink color was still a little bit wet while I was while I was applying this white color so yeah here you can see now how the texture looks like how the white color blended inside and here in side the box I'm going to apply the white sorry the black acrylic paint and here these closers I have colored them with the golden acrylic paint as well now these are the craft form type fabric type uh, piece I was not having actually the pink color uh, fabric sheet available at home so only this one was available so I decided to use it for the sides for the decoration of the box uh, well I was thinking the blue color was also looking nice over the pink but in my mind I wanted to make it all pink so I decided to color this blue color this blue fabric as well with the pink same shade of the box so here I will be applying it on the corners of the box if you want to leave if you want to apply the blue color royal blue color like this one on top of the pink you want to leave the box with the blue and the pink that's also a nice choice and it was looking also beautiful but for me I colored it pink as well so now I will be sticking these closers here the inner part only this small cube I will stick it on the bottom and the top part obviously it will be coming on the lid and here you can see the blue as well looking nice with this pink combination uh, but I colored it pink as well So now here comes the handle as well this was also from a cardboard box for the holding I think it was for the receiver or something so I used this plastic type handle for this uh, box I will be making the holes to insert the handle inside and I think I made it a little bit uh, wider it should be a little bit small holes near to each other so I can hold the handle properly but my mistake I made it a little bit far I couldn't realize that it should near to each other a little bit anyways here I have applied it and then the same fabric I used for the sides I will be using on top of this handle as well to give it like a leather type shape leather type texture
so this is here I will be coloring these blue parts as well with the same acrylic paint I used for the box and then I will be doing some more designing to give it more details looks like a box I will be coloring this uh, handle as well with the golden acrylic paint and then I will be doing some more detailings to give it exact look of the box and then here on top of these I will be using hot glue button types um, to make the style exact like the trunk boxes then I decided to apply it on the sheet first to let them get dry then I will be removing them to stick it on the box because while hot glue was hot the, these round shapes were losing the shape so I decided to apply it on the table first then to remove it once they get dry so here they are now and I will be using them on the sides sticking them on these fabric pieces and then I will be coloring them with the golden acrylic paint and here almost we are done you can use it for your uh, any stuff for your makeup for your jewelry and you can make inside the compartments as well you can uh, apply the mirror as well as a jewelry box or makeup box if you want to use you can apply the mirror as well on the lid inside the uh, lid as well so for me as I said that's fine um, I'm happy whatever I made and it was so beautiful in reality I hope you like the video please subscribe to channel don't forget to click on bell notification to get uh, the updates of rela new 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 ideas so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your support and bye for now